Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Void Hero Map. Like always, if you missed out on any, you can go back, check out the playlist, and get yourself caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. Uh, today's plan, you can see behind me, we have this room finished up. So now I just need to go ahead and add the enchantment su uh, setup and the anvil, and we'll go ahead and get some enchantment done today before we move on to the next plan, which is progress. We have more advancements to do. Uh, some of them I don't know where I'm going to get the stuff. I kind of am having an idea about these, and uh, it's it's not the nicest idea, but we're going we're gonna to have to try it out because we're running out of options here. we got to figure out how to get this and this and this and this. So we're gonna we're gonna have to do some things today, uh, but anyways, first of all, let's go ahead and get some people added out here to the garden. I did hear a gas a moment ago, so I'm a little bit worried about stepping outside here. Don't know where they're. I mean, they're obviously coming from over there, but I don't know why they're spawning in and drifting over this way. Uh, kind of weird. Uh, but anyways, for today, no new comments to add. If you would like to get added to the comment garden, all you gotta do is drop a nice comment on this video. Maybe a suggestion, something you'd like to see me build, or an idea on how I can get some of these fragments. Uh, or just a nice comment, something that I like, and I will check them out. And if I like your comment, I will add you to the comment garden. Uh, but as always, we do have a, another member to add. We have a decent amount of members here. So... Today we will add RSU. Oops, I need to add a new uh, a new line here. Today we'll add RSU two two three. Uh, thank you for being a member. The support helps out a bunch. And uh, if you would like to join, it's only ninety nine cents to become a member, but that gets you a bunch of cool perks. You'll get access to a twenty four seven cross platform vanilla Minecraft server. Season three will be starting as soon as Minecraft one point twenty one comes out, which is very soon. It's creeping up on us. Uh, but you're not going to want to miss out on that stuff. It's uh, cross-platform, Bedrock or Java, whichever one you plan on, you can join. We're going to have a whole bunch of new stuff like warps, TPs, claim lands, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So if you want to get involved in that, uh, become a member. As well as uh, the Minecraft server, you also get emojis you can use in chat when I'm live or emojis next to your name that say what level of member you are. You'll get access to videos early. As soon as I upload them, you'll be able to see them where others have to wait for them to be scheduled to come out. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the plan for today. I wish it wasn't raining. Maybe we can maybe we can have a nap and get this rain to stop. Or uh, we're going to be inside working, so uh, I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll, we'll go ahead and work inside here, and we won't get too wet. Uh, but anyways, I have my inventory. I have everything I need to make the enchantment table. So let's make that. Uh, I also have a decent bit of wood. We can grab some more from the, uh, the setup over here. Oh, while we're at it, I could also show you something real quick. So, decent bit of bamboo popping off in here. I have been AFKing and letting this collect, and that's uh, pretty handy. But anyways, like I was saying, I wanted to update this into a clock, so that way it will automatically push the cobblestone. And so I have the clock set up. If uh, anybody else wants to create something like this, this seems to be a pretty good timing. I'll show you as we collect. I built a little platform out here. But you can kind of collect, and uh, it'll push out. Eventually, you'll you'll catch up with it, and you'll push it back. But you can you can grab a decent bit of cobblestone here. You can see I was empty on cobblestone before I started, and now we're probably gonna get about 23. I think is generally the uh, the amount. Yeah. See, now we're back to the beginning. So, but yeah, about 23 cobblestone and just one little go right there, and you don't lose any because it's just pushing it on out so yeah it's definitely uh something handy to create if you're doing some kind of sky island and you have the ability to do that yeah you see all the cobblestone i've been gathering since just trying to create that thing um but anyways let's go ahead and make some more bamboo i think i might actually have some yeah i have a decent bit so we're gonna have plenty of wood to create these bookcases let's make some bookcases i think what do we need 15 i believe 15 is actually the number but we'll uh, we'll find out here Saving some of those books could be good for getting some uh, enchanted books. You know, sometimes you don't want to enchant the item. You just want to throw it on a book and see what you get. Yep, there we go again. Where are you at? Shouldn't the rain... Oh, there you are. What the fudge? What the fudge? Shouldn't the rain be killing a creature that lives in a fiery environment? I mean, that would be my thought, at least. All right, so let's see. Can we get this enchantment set up fully going here? We need... 
pretty sure it is 15. If if I'm uh, if my math is correct here, we should be chilling with this. We could do yeah, we could do one here and one here. That kind of makes it a little bit funky. We can do one more right here. Why not? Why the frig not? It can be it can be offset. It doesn't it doesn't matter too much. Um, let's see. We're getting 30 levels. We're getting 30 levels. We can get on breaking three on the pickaxe. I think we might want to go for that. But uh, first, let's make some. Um, I think I'm gonna make barrels here. Let's make a uh, barrel setup, and we'll put our lapis and our books in that. Got a decent bit of lapis here. So yeah, let's throw some lapis in here. I guess we're gonna go for it. I don't know what else. I, we could try the bow, maybe. That's unbreaking, also. Um, so let's go for the pickaxe. Why not? Just unbreaking. That is fudged up. So another thing we're gonna make here. Um, let's see. How do I make it? I think you might need stone. Maybe stone slabs. Yeah, okay, and then you can make a grindstone. That's what we're looking for. A grindstone, so that way we can disenchant. I kind of put that in a bad place. Let's move this over. We'll throw that there, and then we can have our anvil here, and our grindstone here, and uh, we got the full setup going. So yeah, we can keep our books in here. I'm gonna just go ahead and disenchant this, because that's crap. I have a lot of levels, so we're, we're kind of chilling in that department. I'm breaking three. It's just giving me unbreaking three. What the frig? The worst enchantments. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. What can, we, what can we get on a sword? Oh, that's already enchanted. So what can we get on a plain sword? Sweeping edge. That'd be kind of good for the mob farm, but nothing else really. Let's try this again. Come on. Why? Unbreaking and efficiency. I really want fortune. I want to be able to get more diamonds. But that's a nice pickaxe. We can get efficiency on an iron pickaxe. Maybe let's uh, let's try it one more time. No, I didn't mean to do. Oh, I didn't mean to do the pants. Those were good pants. Frig. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna retry the pants then too. Dude, I had prop four on those pants. I wanted to see if I could combine them with these and have really good, you know, netherite pants. It doesn't look like you can. So that's that's good. <laughs> that's kind of an okay thing, I guess. Efficiency four. And fortune three, frig yes, dude, that's exactly what we wanted. That's perfect. Now pants, um, should I do, I think we're good on that. I think the pants, cause we already have these netherite pants. It would be nice to have prot on them. I could disenchant and retry these, but um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if I should do something like that. Piercing, I don't know about that. Power three, that could be kind of good. Let's let's give it a try. We got all these levels, Let's let's just go for it. Power three and unbreaking three. Okay, that's not horrible. I don't have any arrows. I can probably do with some arrows. So let's go, let's have a nap because I think it is finally dark and it's still raining, of course. Let's go hit up the mob farm here and get some arrows. Hopefully there's no ghast out here. Hopefully they've disappeared. I haven't done any mob farm slaying for a while here. Running out of arrows. Maybe we'll get some good fragments here too. All right, let's see, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get a whole bunch of junk, I'm sure. But uh, we did get some arrows, so that's pretty good. That's kind of what I was going for. This is what we're gonna throw today. I'm not feeling so great about this idea I have, but we're gonna have to try it out. All right, so let's go ahead and head to our village area and we'll throw one of these fragments and we'll, we'll do the deed. We'll do the deed that needs to be done. We'll go ahead and build out here. This will be a good area for a new villager house, even though we won't really have a villager in it for long. Unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, I suppose let's just go ahead and uh, try this out. Let's see what kind of villager house we're going to get here. Ooh, that's a weird... That went weird. Why did it go so weird? They're getting weirder and weirder. Like, I guess they just keep kind of keep dropping down as we're, as we're going here. And I don't really like it. I'm not a fan of that. Where's your door? Where are you keeping your door at? Where the frig is the door? I need more blocks. Oh, dude, they all have a hole in them, too. Frig, if he... I don't want him to fall out. We really don't want him to fall out. So let's quickly go get some more slabs, or some more wood here. I end up using so many freaking blocks in this series. It's ridiculous. Ooh, let's grab... Uh, oh, no! How did that even happen? What the fudge? How the frig... I was gonna say, let's grab this uh, slab. Where did the slab... Okay, right here. This should be a slab, right? I say, let's grab this slab... 
So we can do one of those numbers. We don't want them escaping. Oh, this is bad. Why is your house like this? Okay, so unfortunately we have to do this. I, I want to see if this is how I get the freaking fragment. It might be the way. Did I get it? I got an emerald. I did not get the fragment. Dang it, dude. It was for nothing. We did get a little bit of bread. Potato. Starter fragment, of course. So I guess what we could do is get rid of this house because we really don't need it here. That's going to be quite the process, but, you know, we could could do it. All right, let's 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 have another try. Maybe this is a way of getting another type of fragment. We'll, we'll find out here. We got... Oh, we get nether fragments from them. Um, I've tried the Piglin Brute. I'm running out of uh, ideas here for how to get these next fragments. I was trying to find a new axe, and I, for some reason, thought that the guy down in the... Uh, basement there traded them but actually it's uh this dude gives me axes or i think it's the guy fudge i didn't mean to break that flower uh, i think it's the guy uh over here the guy who set up i think it's this guy the weaponsmith he trades me like regular iron axes which is pretty good all right so i went ahead and destroyed that entire villager house that's actually a decent way to get some resources i got a decent bit of wood and cobblestone and stuff but um, I'm kind of thinking maybe to get these pillagers, uh, the pillager outpost, we may need to kill a pillager. So I'm wondering if maybe I should just go ahead and expand this grassy area out quite a bit. Like just spread this out and see if they naturally will spawn in. Maybe that's a possibility. Do they need, uh, I don't know, let me, let me look. I have to check. I don't actually know how pillagers spawn in. So here it says, patrols spawn naturally after the world age reaches 100 minutes, five in-game days. So we're way past that. Then after a delay between 10 to 11 minutes in an attempt is made to spawn patrol with 20% chance of success. Okay. So, I mean, realistically, it seems like we should be getting them, but we're not, which is uh, very strange. That's why I'm thinking maybe we expand out this kind of grassy area here and see if that does anything good for me. So, I'm going to throw some of these uh, death fragments so we can get a decent bit of dirt. Wait a second. Holy crap. Look at that. I just got five netherite ingots. What the frig? I didn't realize that was a thing. Dude, I'm kind of shocked right now. Out of a freaking death one. That's bonkers. Whoa, we just got a diamond out of this one. What the frig? I didn't realize they would give me that good of stuff. Have I been getting that good of stuff out of these all along and I just didn't realize it? What the butts? Another diamond. Dude, that's sick. And more, more freaking netherite. Are you kidding me? How am I getting that much netherite out of these things? I don't remember getting that much netherite before. Oh, I gotta be careful. I'm kind of creeping up on villager house here. I'll have to move, move, start moving a little bit farther away. Two more diamonds. Holy frig, dude. And we got a nether fragment. That's good. That's good. Getting a lot of wood, which is definitely handy. Another freaking netherite ingot. Uh, that's, this is crazy because I'm going to actually be able to netherite some more of my gear here soon. Just with what I'm getting out of this stuff. Holy frig, I got 17 netherite and 13 diamonds out of that. That is a much better way than mining to get all these diamonds. So we can go ahead and we can make another one of these smithing things. Bam. We could actually make another one even. And then uh, maybe a, let's make a diamond sword and netherite that. Okay, so we have two that we can use. So let's make a, uh, yeah, let's make a diamond sword. Why is a diamond sword not showing up in the uh, crafting? Oh, it is. It's just I'm not looking right. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. Anyways, diamond sword. And we can netherite that. We have these boots that we can netherite. So let's, yeah, let's do that. Bam, netherite sword. Very nice. And, oh, I could I could do pickaxe too. I think the, maybe let's do the boots. I think that's the better option. Bam, netherite boots. And uh, like I said, we can, we can also re-enchant those. Um, but for now... Well, before we do any of that, let's go ahead and get this area built out because we want to try and get some some land for, like, pillager spawnage, if that is a thing. And uh, it's good we're doing this by the village because I think that would be the likely area where they would spawn anyway. You know what I mean? A lot of dirt here. No! Oh, no, of course. Always has to happen. Okay, I don't think, I think they need dark to spawn. So I think we'll we'll build this area out and we'll leave it dark. So that way, hopefully, uh, that'll kind of work for me here. 
We are getting slime spawning here, so I, th I guess the I don't know. It says a light. It said a light level below uh, of eight, I think. It said 14's too high. It's got to be like eight. So I guess um, I don't know. Maybe my light level was too high, and that's why we weren't getting good stuff happening here. But we'll just kind of try and keep this a little bit dark, so that way maybe things will happen. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I probably would be good to go farther. Uh, let's. Let's go ahead and like break some of these torches and kind of move them back. Let's light up this area. We want the cows to be safe. We are kind of in a close area to like the animals and the villagers, but I don't care. You know, it's it's all right. It is what it is. We gotta we gotta get things going here. You know, I'm gonna break some of these torches. Kind of get some of the light level down here. I think they do. Wait, they do spawn during the day though too, don't they? All right, let's give a little bit more enchantment a try here. We got this nice netherite sword with knockback two. I guess that's, yeah, we'll try it. Bane of Arthur, yeah, of course. You give me freaking Bane of Arthropods, you dingus. That's crap. All right, we got another another shot at it. Unbreaking three, that's decent. Smite four and unbreaking, that's, I guess that's not too bad. I don't know, I'd, I'd kind of like to try it again. So let's go maybe get a little bit more levelage. We're at 29. It won't be. It won't be much to get up there. All right, we're back up to level 30. Let's try this again. Knock back two again. Come on, be something good. Bane of arthropods. Knock back two. Unbreaking three. Fire aspect two. I wish I could get rid of everything, or uh, keep everything except for bane of arthropods. Nobody wants bane of arthropods. Why is that even an enchantment that you can get? Honestly, who is out here trying for bane of arthropods? We want smite or sharp four. That's literally it. Everything else is trash. <laughs> Fire aspect's good. Unbreaking's good. We want smite. We want sharpness for. Come on. Get it together. All right, so I guess my next option here, uh, we still need to work towards the nether stuff, I'm, I'm guessing here. Because we could do with a fortress. If we get a fortress, uh, we can get enough blaze rods to go to the end, because I have the ender pearls. All we're short on is blaze rods. Or if we get enough of those uh, spawns, we have any pillagers? We're getting just more slimes. Loads of slimes. That sucks. I do have a few arrows, not a whole lot. But yeah, we could we could really do with some more some more blaze rods. So it's like it's gonna be the fortress, or we're gonna get enough of those, you know, small fortress fragment things, chunks that spawn in to uh to get me there. You know, I should check this out because I was getting a decent bit of diamonds. Yep, we have diamonds and freaking netherite here. God dang it, dude. That's so good. We could also check the bastion a little more. There's, there's, I think there's more chests there. I forgot to wear gold again. I keep forgetting to wear gold. I wonder if maybe, like, it has to do with the pigmen? Let me try something here. Oh, I wanted to smack one of these guys. Come on. Maybe I'll just shoot him. Get him mad at me. Ooh, we got a magma. Magma's gonna drop anything good? Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. This is bad. This is really bad. I did not want that. I was hoping... I was hoping I could kill some of the zombie... Frig! What the butts is happening right now? <laughs> I was hoping I could kill some of the zombie pigmen and maybe get myself, you know, some, uh... Maybe a fragment off of them or something? I don't know. I'm desperate here now. I am gonna put some golden boots on, though, so that way we don't have to deal with, uh, The regular piglins getting all mad at me. All right, I took out a little one. I get gold and netherite fragments. Okay, or nether, nether fragments, that is. This nether over here has become a very dangerous place. Try and take out one of these. God dang it. What the butts, dude? <laughs> I just keep falling out of the world. Any, uh, we're still not getting any pillagers. I feel like we should have got them by now. If we're gonna get them, because I think there's plenty of areas with low enough light levels. Let's take this guy out. Kind of, I'm, I'm still kind of curious. Maybe they're going to drop something different at some point. Or maybe one of the uh, the regular pig uh, piglins will. If I can actually get into the nether, I just keep I just keep getting myself killed before I can even get far enough into the nether to uh, do any exploration or anything. I need to be more careful. All right, I'm going to throw a fragment here. We set up that platform to be a fragment throwing zone. This is the worst freaking zone to get. Except for the bones are pretty good I guess or the uh, skeletons the arrows need more arrows actually 
more of this. We keep getting a lot of this. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed. Yes, please. Please get stuck. Please get yourself stuck. Yes, we got a blaze rod. We got a freaking blazy rod. That's good. That's good maneuver. Are you mad? You're not mad, right? No, he's not mad. He's good. He's chilling. A little bit of obsidian. I don't think I need it. Nether wart may be good. I could do... I could actually do some potion brewing. Couldn't I? We have soul sand right here. Try and get me a little bit of soul sand. Yeah, okay. We actually have a base underneath here. We can grab soul sand. That's actually pretty good. Uh, we didn't get a skull, did we? No, I got no skull in the chest and I got no skull from uh, taking him out, so... That is something we're, we're missing still. I think we need... Do we need, like, one more skull and we could take on the wither? I think I'm going to save that for last, if if anything, because that's going to be kind of sketchy. All right, endermans. Bit of endermans. Uh, maybe... Do you think he changed... The creator changed trading to add fragments that you get from these guys? No, don't get it, baby. Did the baby get it? God dang it, I think the baby got it. He's not going to give me nothing, is he? They don't give you nothing. They just steal it. Those little frigs. All right, let's... Um, I guess let's try the bastion. Let's check it out. I see a brute. That brute's chilling over there. He, he's waiting for me. He's actually, like, kind of right there. I'm a little bit nervous here. Here he is. Here he is. Okay. We're good. Let's get him. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. He didn't fall. But I don't know if I got what I what I wanted. I don't know if I got anything good. Did we get anything? I don't think I got any. I got a, a nether fragment. I think that's it. So not the best. Not the best situation. There is... This is very, very scary. Very precarious here. There is this over here, this opening. I'm going to check this out a little bit. Anything here? I do see a chest. Magma creams. Uh, not the most handy. Little arrows, that's good. I've got uh, ancient debris. There another. Oh, there's another chest. Anybody around? I don't think there's anybody around. I am finding a decent bit of chests here. Oh, a diamond shovel. That's actually really handy. More arrows. Um, crimson nylium. Why would we want that? I guess the glowstone could be good. I'm hearing bad, bad stuff. Stuff that you don't want to be hearing. More chests. For guess. Oh, these are kind of cool. The spectral arrows, they're not like the most important, most handy, but they, uh, they're kind of cool. They work as just a regular arrow anyway. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, what did he drop? Bastion fragment. Gosh darn it. Whoa, he just knocked me into the void. Of course. And I just fell into the void myself. Of course. <laughs> this has been so much falling. Right, we're up to four. We have two. Yeah, we do have two wither skulls. And we have four of the blaze rods. So that's eight blaze powders. So we're getting kind of close, actually, to being able to go to the end. I would have liked to get, you know, the fortress. But if we can get it by just, like, you know, taking out these small fortress chunks that are spawning, you know, it's still the same thing. We'll still be able to go to the end, which would be kind of cool. So let's throw some more nether fragments. Try and get some more of those to spawn in. And then maybe we can get another, also get another uh, wither skull. And then we got the end and also the wither that we can fight. And I think if we can do that, I think I'll call it an end of the series, even if we don't get the other stuff done. I mean, I'd like to. I'd like to get the other stuff done, but I'm not really seeing any ways of getting these fragments. Like, there is nothing presenting itself here on how, how I'm going to go about getting these. I've done... I think I've done just about everything I can do, to be honest with you. Was that chest already there? I think it was. Pretty sure it was. Oop. Love how it spawns with one skeleton. Who is who is attacking? Why are you mad? Why why the frig were they mad? What possibly would have made them mad? Nope, we're not getting we're not getting the one that we need. Let's just keep throwing. Keep on throwing. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's one of these. Oh, frig. Oh, frig. Holy frig. Holy frig. 
I'm trying to escape. I was trying to escape. It did not work. My escape was was a failure. I've taken out plenty of piglin brutes, though. I don't think that they're going to be the option to uh, get the fragment that I need. Dude, this diamond pickaxe. I just broke my other pickaxe. This diamond pickaxe is so nice. I'm just thinking maybe I'll build out a little bit of a platform here to throw some more. I should probably kind of clear in some of these... Fill in some of these areas where I'm just falling into the void constantly. Yeah, that's that's a pretty nice pickaxe. Oh, there we go. There we freaking go. Come on, give me your skull. And you. No, why do you have to go over the void? Come on, you idiot. Stop. Stop going over the void. You're literally going to make me build you a platform. No, you buffoon I did not want to live in the same world as a freaking blaze because they weren't going to give me their blaze rod I need like what two more one more two more I think I need two more I think if I have six I have enough to do 12 eyes of ender and that should be enough to uh, light that portal I think all right so we're nearly out of time we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit more maybe one more one or two more Oh, we did get a Wither Skeleton Skull, though, so the Wither is actually an option. Not an option that I that I like, but it is an option. I need to figure out a good way to go about that, because, like, everything is void. All around us, we're surrounded by void, so, like, how am I going to safely fight the Wither without, like, you know, breaking the floor and falling into the void? You little frick. God dang skeletons. Maybe I should grab some more, yeah, I should grab some more soul sand, actually. Because uh, if we want to fight the, the good old wither, we're going to need some more soul sand to, you know, build him, build him his body. Maybe I could use some, like, obsidian and build a, a chamber that I fight him in. That could be kind of good, right? I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Oh. They're not mad. Okay, yeah, because I am wearing, I am wearing gold. So we're we're good. They're not they're not gonna be angry at me. Whoa. Oop, sorry guys. Oh, it's gas. You hate to see it. I hope I don't have other gas spawners laying around, because I am getting some gas that are popping in here and there. Oh, here we go. Quickly, quickly. Oh, what did why did I die? What the frig killed me? Was it the it was the blaze. Why am I so... Oh, I'm missing my chest plate. I was like, why am I so weak all of a sudden? That's it. So I missed out on another freaking blaze rod. Dude, that's that's so annoying. I just wish I would have gotten the fortress. I don't know why I never got the fortress fragment. But that would have made things so much easier. Just getting a blaze spawner. I could have so easily gotten the blaze rods that I need. Uh, maybe I'll go check the portal and see if I actually had any filled in. Because I don't, I don't remember if I had any spots actually filled in. Will this guy still be here? Or is he gonzo? He's gonzo. And we get a saddle. Thanks. Thanks a bunch. Alrighty, well anyways guys, that is going to do it for today's episode of Minecraft Void Hero Maps. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. It helps out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. So that way you're not going to miss out on any of the future streams or videos. Join the Discord so you can come by and chat. And uh, if you want to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents to become a member. And you can get your name on a sign over here. But you'll also get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. That you can join whenever you want or with me when I stream it. We're going to be starting Season 3 here very soon. Once 1.21 comes out, uh, you'll also get emojis in the chat. You can use emojis next to your name that say what level you are. You'll get access to videos early. As soon as I upload them, you'll be able to see them where everybody else has to wait till like the next day for them to be uh, scheduled. All that good stuff. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.